So I have my four corner holes dug. Um, I was working on some video the other day and my some of my hard drive messed up. I don't know if I didn't have enough space. Uh, some files got corrupted. So some of the work that I did may or may not end up on the channel. Um, I'm going to try to recover that. But just so you know where we are right now, I have um, my four uh, corner holes dug. And now I'm going to mix some quick creep. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. To put in the bottom of those. So uh, I'm going to measure these again real quick. They should still be good. I left enough space to play with. Um, and I, out for the last one, the very last one, I dug three with shovels. The very last one, I got a post hole, a post hole digger, and now I've got some quick creep, and I've got a five-gallon jug of water. I think it's 3.5 quarts per 80-pound bag. Uh, a gallon is almost four quarts, so I'm just going to mix a little at a time in this blue bucket and see what happens. Stole my wife's garden trowel. She doesn't know that, and she's probably not going to like that. So this looks like it's got uh, gravel. Somebody already mixed gravel in with this. I don't know if this kind comes with gravel already in it or what, but let's see what happens. I don't want to get too much in there and not be able to stir it. Is that probably already too much? <laughs> All right. And yes, I'm using my potable water jug like a big dummy. Uh, it's okay. Just get some little bit in there. do I have before this stuff starts to set? So I have seen some people just pour the gravel in there and then let it let the rain set it or let it get wet from the ground moisture or something I don't know but I, I know that if you use too much water the concrete might turn out brittle or something like that My, it's a little soupy. Still getting the stuff off the bottom though. Stuff washes off, right? <laughs> to look like is that too soft is that too wet still some dry stuff on the bottom so I think when we 
dump it in, we should be good. Yeah. Yeah, I think we look good. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and dump. I don't want to get my trowel dirty. Yeah, see there's still some stuff at the bottom that didn't fully get mixed in. Let's get that down there too. Make sure we get all this good stuff. down here and kind of smooth it. Now, uh, uh, this stuff washes off, right? Ah, oh, dang it, I already made that joke. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what we got now. There's the concrete footer poured in one hole. It's not cured yet, I just got done mixing and pouring. There's the concrete footer poured in another hole. This one much wetter than that first one. It's a concrete footer poured in that hole. <clears throat> and uh, number four. Concrete footer poured in that hole. Um, I did the first batch which you saw guy well, you guys saw on camera. It was the end of a bag and then I was adding water to it. For the other one I had a separate 80 pound bag that I used. Not the full 80 pound bag obviously and just used my five gallon, actually six gallon Reliance water jug, mixed it up with hand trowel. Uh, I don't, I, well, I do recommend it because it's hard work, but if you want it to be easier, get one of those drill attachments that I don't have a drill. Like I said, I don't have power out here. Uh, I know I could bring a, a battery powered drill, but I'm trying to do as much stuff by hand as possible. And there we go. Once these cure, uh, we'll start setting some posts. It'll be a couple of days. It's a little, a little, uh, the humidity is kind of high here right now, so we'll check back in on this project in a few days. Mm -hmm. 